Okay, I'm hoping this works because like I think my camera's a little bit on the fritz. I have to get a new one. So we're gonna we're gonna power through because hopefully this podcast isn't gonna be too long. But hi, my name is Bash Harry and this is the Harry Knit. I am a knitter, oftentimes occasionally a crocheter as well. And this is the Harry Knit Podcast. <laughs> I've made um, like two podcasts on my other channel, which I would say is like a precursor to this one, because this is on the official channel. So we're going to call this the official first episode of the Harry Knit Podcast. And surprisingly, I don't actually have a lot of finished objects. Uh, but I do have a lot of yarn acquisitions because I, I bought a lot of yarn uh, in November and I've missed you. I really wanted to make this video because I'm really excited to talk about knitting and crochet and all things crap. So we're going to do a little bit of that. We're going to be uh, talking about things that I finished, the big items, the small items. Uh, some works in progress, though I don't think I have that many, like I'll be honest. And then yarn acquisitions, which were a lot. And uh, they're really varied, which I, I like. Usually, um, usually I purchase things that I know I'm gonna like, but for this video or like for this month of November, I purchased a lot of things like on a whim and to support local crafters so i'm really excited to show you what i have in store so please do like comment and subscribe for more hairy knit podcasts i'll probably make a few more when i can so yeah let us jump into it with the finished objects uh one of them is the one i'm wearing right now look at it this is the need to have cardigan. Let me see if I can stand up without showing my sweatpants. This is the need to have cardigan by Beatic Thick Brenda on Instagram. It's so bulky and cozy and it's got yellow, it's got pink, it's got like this kind of turquoise teal color. And it's so big and it's so fluffy <laughs> and like when I made it I genuinely didn't know whether I could wear it in like Brunei's 30 degree weather but turns out I can uh, provided I stay indoors most of the time. I wore it out yesterday when I was watching Eternals. Great movie by the way. I understand why there's some people who don't like it but I really did. Uh, and yeah, this was made using Drops Snow, I think in the color yellow, peony petal, and sea green. And I know that like Drops Snow, it was really cheap. It was like £1.80 on Wool Warehouse, which is where I bought it. And this is double stranded, so I knitted this up with 15 millimeter needles. So it's super bulky which is what I kind of wanted. I did something a little different though for the cardigan. I, instead of doing like a one by one ribbing, which was recommended, I actually did I-cord cause I, I wanted it to look more like it's inspired by Hope Macaulay cause I really love her designs, but they're just so big that I didn't know whether or not I could have made it and wore it out realistically so I decided to make a more toned down version so this is what happened uh I really like it it was my first like cardigan that I've made I think ever surprisingly this is my first cardigan I've ever made uh which is odd for me because I I genuinely thought I was like a cardigan girl but yeah I've never made one until now so it was my first time but a funny story with this cardigan, I tried to make it on my own uh, without any pattern and it just went absolutely terribly. So I decided that I was going to try again, but base it on a pattern. So that's where I found Brenda's pattern on Ravelry. 
and I really love it. The balloon sleeves. I'm a sucker for balloon sleeves on my clothes. I think I've made like a sweater with, by petite knit with balloon sleeves and I get a lot of compliments when I wear that out just because balloon sleeves are so much fun to make. So yeah, that is what I made. I kept it pretty short on the sleeve area. It usually is pretty long, but I'm a short person, so I just made it this way. And I did crop it a little bit. I tried to crop it, but it didn't work out because it's, it's a bottom to top where I'm usually someone who likes top to bottom so I can assess like the crop of it. So a couple of times I had to rip it off and try again and I think my gauge was off for the um for the vertical rows so yeah I try to be more wary like honestly I wouldn't change anything about this crop top crop top for this cardigan except maybe the length I would have liked it a bit more cropped but overall I really enjoy it I think it's really cute so a lot of wins this month for finished objects the second thing I made was and I posted this on Instagram because I love it. It's my Hello from My Colors crop by Jessie Made Designs. And I love it. Oh my gosh. It's perfect. It's like absolutely perfect. I adore it. It's like the perfect kind of multiple pattern color work. And because of the yarn that I use. It was the sheep's cheapest just katona yarn. There's a lot of stitch definition. So if you look at it up close, can you look at it up close? Shh, hide my face. If you can look at it up close, you can see all the stitches really well defined. She recommends using like I think non-superwash or superwash yarn so it's like really cozy and like wool, but like I said, I live in Brunei, so obviously uh, wool is not something that I could wear out regularly apart from this cardigan. So I used cotton for this one. Uh, this uses bridal white, and then we got topaz, saffron, the light blue. What is the light blue called? What is the light blue called? Hold on. It is... Uh, it's sky blue, and then the dark blue I think is called midnight. So these are all the colors that I use, and as you can tell, it is definitely, there's a color scheme right here. So I use like shades of blue and gold and nude because I was thinking about what I would wear because there were so many people that used like reds and greens and pinks and purples. But those are not colors that I personally go for in my closet. I really love golds and blues and kind of like summery tones. And because this is a summer climate, I wanted to make one out of this color scheme. And I'm really proud of myself. This is in the size, this is in size extra small. I'm a 35 bust. Um, so... I needed it to be kind of fitted because I like my clothes pretty fitted. Oversized things just don't look that great on me. And since this is 100% cotton, I knew it wasn't going to stretch. And it has like, it doesn't have that like stretchiness that most yarn uses. So it was okay for me to use extra small and still have something that was kind of fitted for me. And I'm really proud of this one. This might be like one of my favorite knits of 2021 and it's probably like one of my favorite knits for of all time if I have to be honest. I love Jessie May's patterns like they're so size inclusive and you can definitely make it in like different colors and in the pattern she uses like she gives you your own chart so if you wanted to do one that was different then you can do that which is what I did so I probably I don't know if you can see but here, in the original pattern, she calls for stripes, but I, I didn't like the look of the stripes, to be honest. I'm not really a stripes person, so instead I added this speckle design, like right here. So these speckle designs. 
And for the sleeve, she actually calls for it to be either cap sleeve, quarter sleeve, or like long balloon sleeve. She gives those options. For me, I still wanted it to be pretty short sleeve, but a cap sleeve wouldn't have given me the kind of coverage I wanted. So I added the speckle design here. So I added the speckle design on the sleeve and then added the gold line and then did the ribbing for about, I'm gonna say one inch. So yeah, this is like a perfect t-shirt for me. It is really nice and I could wear it out, which is fantastic as usual. It's always great when you get to go out and wear your knits because oof, you just feel kind of proud. You know, and you feel like when someone compliments your shirt and you're like, thanks, I made it. Ah, <laughs> it's, it's one of like the best feelings when someone compliments what you wore and what you wore is what you made. It, it feels good inside. This is also the first time I ever made something with a rolled neck. And I'll have to be honest, I actually didn't like the rolled neck look at first. I was really worried about it, but then once the rest of the body came, um, I wouldn't have had it any other way. I'd say, though, she does recommend, like, maybe stranding it or, like, twisting it around because there's so much intarsion color work. I'm going to show you the back of it, which looks like this. So the inside portion. I don't know if you can see it, but, like... The back isn't the best to look at, but it should be okay because no one looks at the back pieces anyway. So it's not noticeable, the back and where the line is. But yeah, that's one thing to watch out for. Would I recommend this for a beginner? I would, I don't know, because I would honestly recommend Jessie May's designs for anyone because it's incredible. But intarsia, there's just so much intarsia here that I wouldn't recommend it if it was like your first time on the needles. Maybe like an intermediate or like a mid-level person. But if you want a really pretty intarsia piece, this is amazing. I saw it on the Love Stitch podcast, like her podcast, I think like a month or two before, and she made her own version and I thought it was so pretty. So I made my own version and it's just so pretty. Like there's not much for me to say, except I really love it. My dad thinks it's ugly. <laughs> my dad, like I showed it to him and he was like, it's ugly. And I'm like, well, you don't know art. So, so this is the second thing I finished. Actually, was it the second or last thing I finished? I think I was making this cardigan and this top in tandem. Because this took me about, I want to say two to three weeks to finish. This took me about maybe three days because it's so bulky, I, it finishes up quickly. It's like, it finishes right off the needles. But this one, you have to be a little careful. I know, I noticed that there were some mistakes, I think, here in this area and here as well. But because it is so small, like, it's not noticeable at all. Oof. What is the other thing that I made this month? I made, I crocheted something. It is this checkered bag. I haven't taken a photo with it yet. And I'll be honest, I didn't know where I was going with this bag, but I'm really proud of it, even though the straps might look a little off because there's just this white and the whole red. I only use about two skeins, so one of each. Um, this one is like a ruby red, this one is white, and then I added some, like, what is this, the sides here, here, and here, just to give it more space. And I did watch some YouTube videos, but honestly, most of it was just my, just me trying it out, and I really do love it. I like the look of it. This is using paint box cotton Iran yarn, uh, which I got from Azuazu Crafts. <laughs> yes, because she had it in stock and I've worked with paint box before. Really great. 
yarn, especially for beginners, and to make accessories like this. I might make a different version with the DK yarn that I already have, but obviously because it is DK, it'll probably be much smaller than this. I haven't worn this out though. I don't know when am I ever going to wear my bags out. <laughs> Which I should. I want to make more bags because they are really fun to make. They're so much fun. But for some reason, this just hangs on my closet. And I don't use anything. Maybe a part of me kind of wants to add lining to the bag, which I did with my previous bag. And then maybe add like a button or a magnetic clasp just to secure it. A part of me might want to sell it as well. I'm not so attached to the accessories I make. I really love giving them as gifts. So maybe this one will be for one lucky friend since it's the holidays. And it's very like Valentine's Day, Christmas. So cute. What other things have I made? Oh yeah. So I don't know about you, but a lot of people in my life, my friends and family have given birth. <laughs> So I have some cousins who have just gave birth to some babies. My friend just gave birth and I know some people whose babies are being born next year. Adulthood. Ah, so I made some like little baby gifts for people. I've only finished two so far. I'll start with this one, which I haven't even weaved yet, but this is just a very basic beanie for a baby. That's the back, I think. So this one is a very small little baby beanie. And I use Stylecraft special DK acrylic yarn 100% because I know that babies are super sensitive and usually acrylic is good for them. So this was just like a tiny hat that I made during like, like in between sets or like when I'm filming and there's not much to do, I just make little hats. And I'm making one right now, I'll show it to you later. But I use 3.5 millimeter needles. And I actually, because most people when you do ribbing, you may use it in smaller needles. But I actually wanted the ribbing to look really big. Because I think for kids, especially for stuff like this, it looks okay, especially in hats. And I don't know about you, but Asian babies tend to be very small. So this might be a bit too big for a newborn, but it could be perfect for a three month old. And the reason, and the reason why I wanted the ribbing to be nice is so they could just fold it up and make a little topi. <laughs> so I made one like this, which is striped. And once I sew it up and I pack it, it will be given to a little baby, which I really adore. And then after that, I wanted to play around. So I decided to knit up some headbands for baby girls. Girls. So these are the two that I made. It's also from Stylecraft. So let me see if you can get close up. So this one is a seed stitch. Just very basic. It didn't take me long, like maybe a two hours. Like I was watching Tick Tick Boom and I finished it up. And this one is in a garter stitch. So it's super, super stretchy. This one, I thought it was going to be too small for a newborn, but this might actually be the perfect size. And because it's garter, it's really stretchy. So it'd be perfect for her, for a newborn. And then I'm assuming once she grows older, she can wear this one. So once she's a newborn, she can probably wear this one. Or like when she grows older, she could probably wear this one. So these are the two headbands I made. I don't know whether I want to make more headbands or more hats for babies, but I'm making two hats, two headbands. Um, and I don't know what else to make for kids. I haven't decided. Okay, next up, what do we have? So those are all the pieces that I finished in the month of November, which doesn't feel like a lot to me personally, because 
like Brew and I just came back up again and we started de-escalation periods. So obviously I didn't have time to like finish everything that I wanted. But I've made those small like little accessories for babies because when I'm doing big projects, they're always really great. Kind of like when I'm stressed out about one project, I can just focus on the others. So that's why there's just so many like little baby products. Let's go with works in progress because uh, I'll be honest, there are a lot of, I usually try to finish pieces um, not quickly, but I try to do pieces that I know I can finish and just, you know, use it and relax. So I'm going to do the one, I'm going to start off with the one that I know I'm going to finish probably within this week. And it is, surprise, another baby hat. <laughs> yes, because so many baby hats. We need the baby hats. This one is also Stylecraft's uh, special DK acrylic yarn. Uh, I am like halfway there. And this one's just going to be in all white because I want this to be a bear hat. So I'm going to knit up like two little bear things, bear things, bear ears and just poke them there on the crown of the head. And then I'll probably like sew a little nose and some eyeballs for the baby, like buttons. So it'd be really cute for a baby boy or a baby girl or any baby really. So I'm going to knit that up and it's almost done. Like I said, baby hats go by really, really quickly. Headbands are even faster and they're great gifts for, you know, anyone with kids or having kids. So I'm going to be finishing this up. The second thing that I've been making, I don't know whether I want to talk about this though, because if you saw the last episode of the Harry Knit podcast or like the one on my Bash Harry channel, I talked about this in October and it was the So Summer shirt by Jessie May Designs as well. And I did it in Sheep's Katona and I was almost done. I was genuinely almost done and I sewed everything up, at least just the top, and it was too big because I was doing it in 100% cotton I made it in a size medium or a size small and it was just way way too big on my body and it, it didn't look great I think the gauge was off for one thing and the second is I think the yarn wasn't that great to work with and I should have gone like at least two or three sizes down so it wasn't something that I could see myself wearing and if that happens a part of me just wants to start all over which I did. So this is how it is so far. And it's a different yarn. It's actually, let me get this. It's actually the Drops Bell in the color 16. I don't know why I call it this. It must be like pink. But I've only done, I'm not even done with the rib. Not the rib. It's the, um, just the, what's it called? It's the hem. So you make a provisional cast on here and then you just flip it and sew it together. And I really like it. I think it looks so nice, but because I've done this already and I'm just doing it in another color and another material, I got really bored. <laughs> And I know that knitting is supposed to be enjoyable. So I took a break. I, I took some time off from making it. That's why it's on the needles, but it's not done. And a part of me does not want to continue <laughs> because I've already done it and I want to do it in white. And I'll, I'll talk about my yarn acquisitions because this is a new ball of yarn. It doesn't look new, but that's just because I was using it. But I want to make it in white. So a part of me thinks I should just scrap it or frog it and try again, which I might do after this, which I might do after this. So this is how it's going. Me. But I do like the color and 
you know, I'll talk about the color in just a little bit. Sorry, I need to sit down and be, be more comfortable. So I might do that. But I don't know. We shall see. A lot of we shall sees in this work in progress section. I do love the feel of it. It feels like a summer shirt because it is like linen and viscose and cotton. But I don't know. We'll figure it out. And the next thing on my works in progress, and I'm so close to finishing it. It's just that I'm on Sleeve Island and I have, I hate doing sleeves. That's why I make a lot of short sleeves anyway, because like, or I do the sleeve first before the rest of the body so I can get it over with. But I couldn't do it with this particular project and it is the, if I can get it properly, it is the Antiquity Blouse by Fable Knitwear. So I'm still making up the sleeve. This is using Sheep's Katona as well in sky blue because I had quite a lot of it. And I mixed in drop silk, silk mohair in the color thing is in the color blue so I'm still working it up here the reason why I wanted to make this like pattern is because it's so beautiful I just love the lace work and then I mixed it with this color like I mixed the silk mohair with the cotton because I wanted it to be a little bit more fluff which I think is a problem um, and I have to remember that every single time that I use cotton it has no stretch it doesn't have that so and I need to remember that because now I think I knitted it up in a size S I should have gone for an extra small I have to remember that sometimes the pieces that would fit me best especially when I'm using cotton is likely going to be the smallest one so I don't know whether I'm going to like restart it but I finished the top and I really don't want to restart it and then I'll move on to the sleeve the sleeves were actually really confusing because there's like I had to knit 10 in one in a like a bubble or an increase and I never did that before but I did it here and I love Fable Knitwear's designs I think they're so beautiful and I would love to try out her yarn if it was ever available in Brunei but this is as far as I've gotten on the sleeve this has been taking me weeks I'm serious it's taken me weeks I think I started like on the first or second week of November and it's like what day is it today it's like the 5th of December so it's taken me a good month and likely I'm gonna just take it really slow with the sleeve because we're using DPNs I'm worried that the needles I hate using DPNs if I have to be honest <coughs> and the silk mohair gets everywhere I sneeze so much every single time I use it but yeah, that is what I've been making so far. And it's gonna take a while. A lot of firsts with this pattern because I did like lace work for the first time in years. I love doing lace work, it's so pretty, but I usually do them for hats. So I was really excited to see how it would look like on the body. But as I said, it might be too big for me, so I'll have to figure it out as I go along. Also, it's a little itchy because it's the silk mohair. Yeah. Okay, so those are all my finished objects and works in progress. I want to talk about my yarn acquisitions. Oh, I'll be honest, this is probably my last yarn acquisition of the year because it says December, but also because I'm planning on going on a no buy year as your girl needs to start saving money if she wants to do her masters or anything. So. This is probably my last yarn haul slash acquisition and I might as well have started with a bang or ended with a bang because there's a lot of yarn that I got. There's like too much yarn if I have to be honest, which is good because I'm going to not spend any money for the next year, at least in terms of yarn. So we'll just get right to it. So. I don't know if you want to see all of them, but I'm going to show you all of them. So the first two, at least the first three that I got, I got this from a local seller. 
but I think she purchased it from a company that is based in Singapore or Malaysia, and it is the Over the Moon 8-ply yarn. So this one is in light brown, this one is in khaki, and I think this one is in light apricot. So let's bring it closer together. I don't know if you can see it, but this is what it looks like. It is a cotton acrylic blend. So this is 40% cotton, 60% acrylic, 8-ply comfy yarn. And it's true. It's very soft and it feels soft and delicate. And I bought five each. Yes, I know I spent a lot of money. So I bought like so many each of the five skeins because I want to make a cardigan out of it or a jumper, either crochet or knitted, I don't know yet. Or I make like a color block sweater, which would be really cute, or a checkered sweater slash jumper because those are really in right now and they look so cute. But I have not decided yet. And this is pretty chunky yarn. I'll be honest, I don't know what I'm gonna knit with this or even crochet with because it says it's eight ply but it doesn't have like a recommended hook slash needle. I'm guessing because of how thick it is, it is probably a ran or worsted weight yarn. And worsted weight and a ran usually knits up pretty quickly. Like it doesn't take too long. Like every single time I make a ran or worsted weight, it usually takes me like I'm gonna say maybe four or five days if I knit non-stop but this is really pretty and I wanted something that had really nice colors so I bought five of each so one two three so I have 15 overall five of each color so yeah that is the first one and I got it from Azuazu Crafts I'll have them linked in the description box below because they're always great support local these earrings are also local. Ah, Grafkita. You see me wear them all the time. Ugh. So yeah. And I'll link the shop that sells this yarn as well. Because support Southeast Asia. Please. So those were the ones that I purchased from a local seller. I'm going to talk about ones that I got from a local hand-dyed yarn. Which honestly, like... I didn't even know was a thing in Brunei until I found the account. It's kaitkatn.bn, I think. And I bought these yarns. Oh my god, it's so pretty. Let me just show you. It looks a little blown out. I'm really sorry about that because of the lighting. But it is so beautiful. It's like this... It's like this pale yellow into silver into kind of this lavender purple color. And it's so beautiful. It's actually like the same color as my claw clip, which is so cute. This is from ketkan.bn. It's 100% viscose and she says it's a sport weight. I have not tried to knit something up yet because I think it just looks so pretty. She's a crocheter based in Brunei and she hand dyes these yarns which it's my first time ever trying locally hand dyed yarns. So I'm really excited to use it. It's 100% viscose so it would be perfect for summer and breathability. I will probably try to make some a summer shirt out of this. I'm thinking of making either a shirt with buttons and a collar like that basic shirt or the anchor shirt by Petite Knit because that like I love Petite Knit's designs they're also so pretty and so easy to use and make uh it she says it's sport but like I said I have to knit it up and like I have to knit up a gauge and see how it looks and because it's viscose it's going to be so airy the one thing I would say as, um, and this is just, if she's watching, uh, but if she's watching and she hears me talk of just love and fall in love with her yarn, I would say that like, 
can you please like name it <laughs> which is so minor uh because she sells them on instagram and they're not named and i would love it if she or you name the yarn because then it feels a little more personable and i would love to name this yarn because it doesn't have a name i just i call it silver yellow purple <laughs> but yeah she also sells them in cakes the reason why i chose to have them hanged like this is because i have a winder at home and i just wanted it to look so pretty because it does it looks so nice it just it feels soft too oh i'm gonna just talk about yarn forever ah! <laughs> okay i'm gonna stop i'm gonna stop right now the next yarns that I got, I purchased them and they arrived. I got them for, from Wool Warehouse because like I said, it's probably like the only option for me and Brunei to purchase yarn. It's not the only option, but it's like one of my favorites because there's such a wide array of yarn there and my mom uses it for her crochet and her craft and sewing. So I got quite a lot of pieces from Drops, I'll be honest. The first one... I got five of these, I think, five or six. I don't know. It is the Drops Baby Merino in the color 24, which I'm gonna be honest, I don't know what color that it is, but it looks like this. Come on, you can zoom in. Okay, so this is the Drops Baby Merino in the color 24. It is 100% wool, it's merino, and I've worked with merino before. I actually made a bra out of this exact, um, like it, exactly in the baby merino, and it feels so nice and comfy. And it's perfect for this weather because it is super breathable. It's merino. And I bought one, two, three, four, five, five or six of them. And I guess my plan to make them would be I don't know, because usually when I purchase yarn, I do have an idea for them. But I don't know. This one actually came out having a bit more of a purple undertone than I expected. I thought it would be much warmer, but it's actually like, kind of like a purple blue. Almost like a very, very light blue. Almost cool toned. So a part of me wants to make another top because I do love making tops out of merino. But I haven't decided yet. It's exciting and also have to remember that it might take a while because it is a sport weight yarn so i do love knitting with smaller needles it's just my preference because like i said i live in a warm climate and smaller needles are usually much better for that but i don't know we we'll shall see i got uh, the drops bell unicolor you saw the one that I did for the So Summer shirt. I don't know what color it is, but it's this one. This is a full skein. It is color 16, and I also got it in white, and I got six stains of this, six skeins of it. Um, it is 53% cotton, 33% viscose, 14% linen. And you can tell, it's really nice. But I've been... Because I don't know whether I want to continue making the So Summer shirt with this color, I found that they have this very beautiful um, free pattern on Drops Design with this exact color. And it's like this cardigan with little holes on them. So I'm thinking of actually making that instead, which would be... Yeah? I'm, I'm making a video. Sorry, that was my sister. <laughs> Anyway, what was I saying? Right, so I'm probably going to make a cardigan out of this, like a very light cardigan or a very light top with the lace because it, it is very pretty. And for this one, I am probably going to start all over with the Sew Summer shirt and try this one out because it was recommended since it is for summer and I live in a hot climate. Uh, this would have been the best to do. So I'll probably start all over and try it again. This one's available at Yarn Warehouse, not Yarn Warehouse, Wool Warehouse, which I highly recommend if you're from Brunei because at least it ships there. And if you're okay with paying for shipping, the shipping cost is like 19 quid per 
like two kilos. So highly recommend it if you're keen on that. All right, that is about it. That is that is all that I have to talk about for yarn and all things knitting related, crochet and stuff. <laughs> So yeah, that's about it. I don't want to take up too much of your time, but I want to say thank you so much for joining me here on the Harry Knit Podcast. And if you like this video, please do like and comment what you want to see next. I have more videos coming up very soon. And also check out my other channel if you want. I'll have it linked down below. Is that it from me? Yes, I think it is. Also, don't forget to subscribe, please. <laughs> All right, that's about it for me. I hope you guys are having a fantastic day, a wonderful morning, and that's about it. I'll see you soon. Bye!